down the YouTube and the soft man and welcome back to some more Undertale. We're on part three right now and I've got back to where I was previously. I have got the ribbon back again. I've put that back into my hair, even though you can't see it and I have no hair. Um, but also we've got our sweet back that I chucked on the floor thinking that the mouse would come out and scare off the ghost. Didn't happen, guys. So let's continue where we left off. I've just pressed the red switch to open this door. Now it should give me another sign saying, if you can read this. Press the green switch. Now, the green... I can't remember where the green one was. Oh, my goodness gracious me. These are a pain. They really are an absolute pain in the backside. Um, the thing is that don't picking on them doesn't make it any better. So, just trying to flee. They won't... They don't let you um, spare them, which is annoying. Right, where, the red one's there. The green one is the, the one in the middle. Okay. That's the green one. So it's this one over here. It's behind here. Hello? Yes. Press that switch and you hear a clicking sound. Let's go. Have we got another one or is that... That's it. Good stuff. Some more leaves there. Oh, no, here's a question. Do I carry straight on? Or do I go up? I'm going to go up, guys. I'm going to go up. I want to see what's here. There's a big... What looks like a dead tree. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Oh, there she is. Hello, mother. How are you? Why are you ringing me? I'm here, love. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. Yes. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Um, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. What's this tree? Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Oh, that's a shame. We've got a save point. Good stuff. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Let's go ahead and save it. Good stuff. Still level one. Okay, let's go. Do you smell that? Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> it's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, man, that sounds... Sounds ledge. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, well, I'm glad that you did that. Here, I have another surprise for you. Hmm. Hang on, mother. Let me just go and have a look around. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001X. Let's have a look in that bookcase over there. Oh, bookcase. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Okay. Before we go downstairs, let's check out upstairs. Don't go into that other room, though. Oh, man, look at this chair. I want to see it. Seems like the right size for Toriel. Okay. This one seems like the right size for me, surely. No. Can't do anything. Book. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. It's very original. As, get our, as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Okay. Can we use one of them? The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh. You know, I'm beginning to think that the humans are the bad ones in all of this, you know. Oh, what's in here? For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. <gasps> Not a Snickers! No! There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Ooh, nice. What have you been cooking, love? Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Oh, there's the pie. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. What about in here? The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Oh, that's pretty decent, actually. If I could use fire magic to make myself some nice, uh, some nice cakes, I would also make them. Oh, I didn't look in the fire. That's because there's nothing to see in the fire. We're going to go downstairs first. Sorry, Toriel. I will come and follow you in a minute, but I'm just perusing around your house. Should I be down here? Ah! Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. I just wanted to see. No, Toriel. I want to go and have a look. Hey, do not go down. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem that we've got any other options. Damn! 
Okay then, Toriel. Let's have it your way. This is it. What is it? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, Mum. Oh, and she's patting my head. She's giving me a nice pat pat. Is something burning? Make yourself at home. Something can't be burning, Toriel, because literally I saw the pie. It was out of the oven. Unless it just, you know, does it by itself over there. Oh. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, that's a shame. Whoops. Bit ungrateful, but never mind. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. What's in here? A box of kids' shoes in, des in, in, in a disparity of sizes. Okay, maybe she's going to eat me. Oh. Is that different music? A box of kids' shoes. Can I sleep? Can I sleep? Oh, I'm going to go to sleep. Ooh, what's that on the floor? He found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, nice. Get in. Thank you, Toriel. Now I'm just going to go and peruse around the place. There's, there's flowers and stuff kicking around. You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. It's called Jeff. No. Can't go in there. Is this Toriel's? Oh, there's something. It's a regular old bucket of snails. No, I'm looking at that. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You don't really snoop in people's diaries. But I'm going to go for it anyway. You read the passage. Passage? Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bony. Bonely. Not bony. <laughs> she was feeling bonely. Oh my god. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar calibre. In other words, that was terrible. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Oh. It has a name. Ooh, look at this. Ah, the cactus. The most sundry of all plants. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay. Why is this plant like bright yellow according to everything else? It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Oh. You peek inside. Scandalous. <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. I'm just peering. Can I get in this bed? Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Skylar. Come on, next room. Oh, there's a notice on this one. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Okay. Room under renovations. Damn. Oh, myself. Hello. It's you. It is. Oh. It is a water sausage. Okay. Fair enough. I see what it is now. That one's a water sausage. Well, let's go back this way. Can't find anything else. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go downstairs now. Can I go downstairs? She wants to show me something first, but she's shown me it. Oh, balls! I think you should play upstairs instead. No, Toriel. I want to play down here in the very, very scary basement or dungeon or whatever it is that you've got down here. It's dangerous to play here. Okay. That's a, that's a different one. I'm going to keep doing it until she repeats herself. If it's drafty here, you'll catch a cold. Drafts are fine, Toriel. It's okay. I just want to have a peek. It's dusty here. You'll catch a cough. No! Stop telling me what I'm going to do. I just want to have a look. How do you know I'm coming down here anyway? There is nothing to see here. Toriel, there obviously is something to see here. Because you're not letting me see it. Do you want to read a book? Do you want to build a snowman? I can't because i got no fucking snow. Toriel, just let me go, love. I do not like the game you are playing. I'm not playing a game. You keep coming down and chasing me. I just want to go and see what's at the end of here. Why not go for a walk in the yard? Are you ever going to stop repeating yourself so that I can move on with my life? Really now? Right, she's gone into the other room. Let's go. Ah, oh, she's getting angry with me now. She's getting mad. Toriel, it's fine, love. I just want to go down here. She's getting really angry with me. She's not saying anything. If she says nothing again, then I'm just gonna go upstairs. Ah, oh, well, after all that, guys, can't even do it anyway. Okay. 
Let's go and speak to Toriel then. I want to know what's down there. This has really got me. Oh, Toriel. She's got glasses on. She's reading a book. Up already, I see. Hmm. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Whoa! I did not come down here so to go, out, to go to school. I'm sorry, this is not happening. I've done my time. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad that you are living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Nothing. But it's nice down here. And by the sounds of it, the humans are all horrible. And I, I feel like I must say this for things to go on anyway, so I'm going to say it. What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to Exit the Ruins. Oh, well. Let's... This is Mum. Okay, sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, bother me if you need anything else. Oh, can I have some more of the pie? The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Believe me, if it was me and I was looking at a cinnamon with butterscotch pie, it doesn't matter how big it is, I'm going to eat it. Right. Do I need to... I think I need to say this. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh. Right, now's our chance, guys. Now's our chance. Let's go into the basement. Toriel, Mum, she would she'd no idea that we're going. Mum, stay away. Every time. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No! You can't! I need to get back that way. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, Toriel. This is not how it's going to work, my love. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, as go, will kill you. Oh, he's in red. He's a big one. I am only protecting you, do you understand? So that's why she's got thousands of bloody pairs of shoes upstairs. Go to your room. Oh, whoa! I'm way past the stat stage in my life. I know that much for a fact. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh, she's getting angry with me. Oh. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh, okay. Toriel blocks the way. I didn't see this coming. Toriel, I want to talk to you. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, damn. Toriel, why would you do this to me? You're killing me. Ah! Toriel is acting aloof. Tor, you tried to think of something to say again. But... Ah! You're hurting! Toriel looks right and looks through you. Tor oh, this music is great! Talk to her again. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Ah! Toriel looks through you. Can I not t Can I seriously not talk? Oh my god, okay. What do I do? Do I flee? Oh, balls. This is hurting me. You are going to kill me. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Talk. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Oh. Stay still, top man. Stay still. Toriel looks through you. Okay, talk. Can I, I don't want to fight you. God damn it. Oh, they're all going off to the side now. She's good. Because then I can't die. Toriel looks through you. Oh, I think I might have found it, guys. I keep sparing her, and there's more lines that keep popping up. 
So let's see. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Let's spare again. There's three. Okay. Nothing's hitting me, which is good, because I'm nearly bloody dead. Toriel, spare. Oh, there's a question mark on the end of this one, guys. I'm getting somewhere now. Figured it out. Toriel looks, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing? I am sparing you. I do not want to kill you, Toriel. Attack or run away. No, I refuse. I am not hitting my mother. Toriel prepares. Spare. What are you proving this way? Proving that I can be the, the person you want me to be by sparing everything. Prepares a magical attack. Spare. Fight me or leave. No. I'm not doing it. Stop it. Come on. Keep bringing it, woman. You obviously don't want to kill me because these white things are going everywhere but my heart, so... Stop looking at me that way. Come on. Go away. Oh, she's getting right upset. I don't like this. Toriel, it's okay. Not that dark. It's okay, Toriel, just let me through. And all will be good. Dot, dot. Looks like I found it. I found the way through. Acting aloof. I know you want to go home, but... Dot, dot, dot. Spare. But please, go upstairs now. Dot, dot, dot. Spare. I promise I will take good care of, take care of you here. Smiley face. Spare. I know we do not have much, but... Oh, God damn you! Toriel, why are you doing this to me? Spare. We can have a good life here. Feels really bad now. Why are you making this so difficult? Spare. Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You'd just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Oh, mother, why? What? I hope you understand. Oh, did she give me a hug? I'm so sorry, mother. Goodbye, my child. Can I still ring you on the phone? No? Maybe? No! Sorry! Sorry, no! I'm coming home, Toriel! Mother! Oh? Can I get back in? Can I still talk to her? She says, like, like not to come back. She's, is she gonna be here? I hope she's gonna be here. Toriel? Mother, I've come home for some pie. The size of the pie intimidates you. No, it doesn't. We've already been through this. The pie will never intimidate me. Mother. Mum. Sorry. Oh, Dutch man, get out of my screen. I said I was going to start that out. I forgot. Mother. She just wanted to tell me jokes. She's not here anymore. Damn. Well, guys. Mother has now left us. We've got a whole house to ourselves. She told us not to come back, but she ain't here, so I'm going to just use the house. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, dear me. I'm so sorry, Toriel. But at least we got through without having to smack her in the face. I like that. I like that. Hopefully I can get through the whole thing without ever having to smack anything. Because that would be good. Anyway, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be a save thing in, in through here. Well, 
It's a long corridor. Hello? Is it it's me? I was wondering after all these years you'd like to meet. To go over. Everything. Oh my god, that was a long corridor of nothing. Clever. Very clever. There's the fly again, look. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what would you do? What would you, well, blah, 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 blah. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Look at that face, it's great. Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> that laugh. It's like... Oh, it's gone. Hello? Can I go other ways? No? No? Go through here. Oh, it's gone all white. Undertale. Is that it? By Toby Fox. Or is that just like the prologue? Is that the intro to it? Because I'm only level one. I need to be like, oh, okay. I'm out of the ruins, guys. What's that? Can I look in there? Oh, there's a camera hidden in the bushes. Whoa. <laughs> It's a bit harsh, isn't it? The hell is in there? Why is there a camera in there? Get out of it! Just looking at me. Okay. Oh. I can hear where it loops. That's quite discerning, actually. What's this? Can I open it? It's a tough looking branch! It's too heavy to pick up. Oh, god damn it. I was hoping I. I was hoping I could pick it up. The hell was that noise? Oh, there's something following me. Go away. Whatever you are, I don't want it. No double glazing for me. Okay. I can't press enter on this thing. To oh. Oh, what is that? Get away from me, boy. Girl. Thing. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal. Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the slow turn around. Me, precisely. Oh! What the hell is that? Has he just done a prank on me? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. I love this the little, the little sound it does when all the letters come. Le the bleh. When all the letters come up. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skelly. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. Oh, I've heard about this guy. He's a, hum a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually. I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. Me bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Idiot. <laughs> oh, quick. Behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Oh, my God. That is very conveniently shaped. <laughs> my God. Perfect. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang out outside your station. What are you even doing, man? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You want to look? No! I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> what if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I 
the Great Papyrus will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning, and my voice is hurting doing this voice. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All I do is sit and bong doggle. Boon doggle, not bong doggle. That could be something entirely different. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ah. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am. And I hate it. <laughs> That's quality. Sigh. Oh, sigh. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Oh, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Yes, Sans, get in. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more. Backbone into it. Ha 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 ha. Let's call it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I came back to say it. What a legend. Okay, you come out now. I was waiting for a fuck. I was waiting for a save point. I've been here for twenty minutes. You want to get going? You might come back, and if he does. You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Okay, <laughs> we'll do that. Can I not look at these rocks? No, I cannot look at these rocks. Can I look at the lamp? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Okay, anything there? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Oh. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favour? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. That's behind, fella, not ahead, but still. Can I have a save point? There we go. Alright, guys, the, conven the, the convenience of that lamp still fills you with ter determination. Good stuff. We're going to save there, guys, and that is it. That's what's going to be it for today's episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying this, actually, guys. It's great. I love the characters, and I love how things are going, so it's great. So I will see you next episode. And I'm going to get some water, because my throat's killing me after doing that bloody papyrus voice. I'll see you next time. Until then, I'm at the top of the always. Stay safe.